Okay, we are getting really close to the end of the session, and there is one thing that I really want to talk to you about, and that is a word called empathy. Now, I don't know, I'm going to put this one in red because it's so important. I don't know if you know the meaning of this word. How many of you in this room think you absolutely know the meaning of the word empathy? Okay. Well, I need to tell you that almost everywhere I go, I ask this question, and it is not a word in your vocabulary. And this is such a magnificent word that I want to take some time to tell you about it. Empathy is the capacity that each of us has to put ourselves in someone else's situation, to be in their skin, to imagine what it feels like to be going through what they're going through. Do you, do you, do you understand that concept? Like, for instance, if you broke your arm and you had to go to school in a cast and you knew what that was like and then a month or two later somebody comes to school and they've got their arm in a cast you could have lots of empathy because you know exactly what they're going through but you can have empathy for somebody who is going through something that you have never experienced for instance if your friends parents are getting a divorce and your parents are not getting a divorce, you can understand that your friend is very sad and in a lot of pain and might even be angry. So do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Empathy is so important that we have to practice it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask everybody in this room to please close your eyes. Now, while your eyes are closed, what I want you to do is to put yourself in the place of somebody that is a target. Somebody that you know even in this room that has experienced some hurt that has been taunted or left out. I want you to put yourself inside that person's skin and I want you to feel what it is like to be in their place. You are terrific. This takes a lot of maturity. You may open your eyes. I thank you so much for doing that so conscientiously. Now, I am going to ask the very last question. And this question, the first person that raises their hand to answer this question is going to have to have a lot of courage. So I am counting on someone in this room who has listened to everything that has been shared here this morning. I want to know if there is someone in this room that would like to make amends to somebody. Maybe something you've done, something you've said, something you didn't do. I would like to know who in this room would be willing <coughs> to apologize to somebody or something that you've said or done. Andy, would you, could you stand up please? Because this takes a lot of courage. Who would you like to apologize to, Andy? Uh, Cody Postal Gabber. Is that person in this room? Uh, no. 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 And will you have an opportunity to apologize to that person? Do you know what it will mean to them when you do that? Do you have any idea? A little, yes. Yes. 
That will be wonderful. Andy, thank you very much. Is there anybody else? Kate. Matt. Would you stand up? Thank you. I just want to say sorry to Matthew for making fun of his size. Matthew, would you stand up? Thank you. Matthew, Kane has apologized to you. And do you accept his apology? Sure. You do. Thank you both very, very much. I appreciate that. <coughs> Tyler. Um, to Andy, because he was uh, bending his finger and I pushed it real hard and he ended up splaining it. So. Where is Andy? Tyler is apologizing to you for something that he did to your finger. You remember that? Do you accept Tyler's apology? Yes. Tyler, thank you. Can you guys shake hands? Because this time when you shake his hand, you won't be pushing the finger back. Thank you. And Matthew, would you and Kane shake hands? Because I think it's nice just to make that connection. Thank you very much. Zay, who do you owe an apology to? to my brother Eli because he, he, he stole my sandals in, in the store and I dragged him and, hit, and he hit his um, the weak part of his head onto the ground so I think he was going to I was kind of worried he's going to get low syndrome How many of you in this room owe an apology to a brother or a sister? Please raise your hand I I appreciate that you are raising your hands because every single one of you needs to go home tonight and talk to your brothers and sisters about what you've learned from each other today. And it is really important to be kinder to our brothers and sisters. There is a lot of sibling bullying that turns out to cause pain for a very long time because if a bully in your classroom hurts you, but maybe next year they'll be in a different class or they'll move away, you don't move away from your brother and your sister. You have your whole lifetime to share with them. So I think that was a really important apology. Thank you, Zay. Now, I am curious because not a single girl has raised their hand to make an apology. So it seems as if all those things that we said about girl bullying does it not ever happen in here? So, <coughs> Rita, do you um, know <coughs> something about healing, healing somebody? Nah, I just want to apologize. You want to apologize? Who would you like to apologize? And Nor. And Nor. Back the black shirt. Ah, and Nor. Would you stand up, and? Rita, would you stand up? Um, yesterday, I say something bad to you, Nora, because I'm so sad I lost my iPod. So I just want to apologize to him. OK, this is really special. Rita is not only apologizing to Anwar because she took her pain out on him, but she is sharing with us something that we've talked about this morning, that sometimes when we're in pain, we take it out on other people. So instead of dealing with her loss, about you lost your iPad? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we can all identify how that would hurt, right? But she took it out on you, Anwar, and now she is feeling very guilty about that, and she is apologizing. Do you accept her apology? Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you guys kind of reach across there? Can you figure that out? Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, now, I have to tell you something. This has been very special, and I am so grateful to you for being so courageous and open. But you need to know that there is a world of difference between an apology and an I'm sorry. If you tell somebody, I'm sorry, and then you do it again, and then you say, I'm sorry, and then you do it again, and you say, I'm sorry, and you do it again, it doesn't mean a thing. An apology means that you have made a commitment to change your behavior. So all of you who apologize today, you are changing your behavior because of this 
very courageous statement that you've been willing to make. So all of you who apologize this morning, would you please stand up? If you made an apology in this room this morning, I want you to stand up because what you did <coughs> was very significant. Now let me ask this question. How many of you in this room owe somebody an apology, but it was just too hard to publicly do that? Would you please stand up in, if you owe somebody an apology? Everybody in this room who owes somebody an apology, please stand up. Thank you. Thank you. And we, and, and we honor, we honor your honesty. Now, would all of you sit down for a second? And are there some people in this room who would love to receive an apology and didn't get one today? Is there anybody here? Anastasia. You have been so fabulous. I am going to close by telling you another story. This is the story of a boy in California that got cancer. And um, he lost all of his hair when he got chemotherapy. And he was afraid to go to school because he thought that people would make fun of him. So he was going to drop out of school. And 13 of his classmates in the sixth grade went to the barber shop and had their heads shaved so that he could come to school and not be embarrassed. And whenever I think of those 13 boys, it makes me so proud to be a human being because that's the capacity that we have to be kind and to care about each other. <coughs> you have shared such wonderful things this morning. Please know how grateful I am. I am applauding you and I thank you. And I hope you have a wonderful life and a wonderful summer and Stop the pain and be kind. Thank you. Thank you.